So what can we expect from the governor after the events of last year's finale? Yeah, it's always hard promoting The Walking Dead because I can't give any spoilers about mm. what's about coming up. I think where we left him is in a quite a brutal place. You know, he's left, he's in the arena, he's got the Daryl Dixon, and the Dixon brothers in front of him, Daryl and Merle, and he feels betrayed by Merle. So he's, and, and the crowd, you know, are baying for blood. So what he's trying to do is find out where Merle's loyalties lie. But he's also, you know, he's lost his daughter, he's been attacked himself, he's lost his eye. So he's in quite a brutal place. So I think that sort of new governor will go into the second half of season three. Yeah. And after those traumatic events, do you think maybe he's closer now to the governor that fans might recognise from the comics? Yeah, it's interesting. I think um, I didn't read the comics before I got the job. Um, I knew the TV show. So when I got the job, I read the comics and, you know, he is very dark straight off the bat really you know he's quite evil very quickly you know within a couple of frames of the comic and i wanted to give this character more complexity than that. i wanted to go back more to the character from uh, robert kirkman's novel the rise of the governor and the road to woodbury and i think we've done that in this uh, first half of the season in the second half i think yeah you will see probably the governor emerging a bit more um brutal than he has been, but I hope that he can maintain the complexity that we've given him. Yeah. A lot of fans expected to see uh, Rick and the Governor face off in the first batch of episodes. Yeah. So are we going to see them clash in the second half? Again, you're going to have to wait and see with that. I think, you know, the, that's certainly where the lines are. The, the, the stars seem to be aligned in that way. So we'll have to wait and see whether they come, come together in any sort of clash. Yeah. And uh, one character he definitely did clash with was Michonne. Yes. And that, that scene was incredibly brutal. It was almost difficult to watch. I mean, what was it like to film that scene? It was a long day. I mean, it was more than a day we filmed it, really. Um, what happened with that was Denai and I would rehearse that sort of fight for quite a long time. And then we filmed it, and it was, it was quite brutal. Yeah, we, we all came away with very many bruises and cuts and stuff. Uh, but I think it's right. I think, that, you know, what, when you look at a fight like that and the brutality of it, you're questioning the story of it all the time. I mean, what is the story of the fight? And the story is this man who's had the one thing he loves taken away from him and he's acting in anger and she's fighting for her life. And, uh, but the important thing and the other element of that fight is that Andrea comes in at the end and sees the, the consequences of it. And that's very, you know, that's got to be played out as well. Mm. And I know you got a, a sense of kind of the fan world and you went to uh, Comic-Con before your episodes aired. But I mean, have you got a sense of the fan reaction to the governor as your first batch of episodes went out? Yes, I have. I mean, uh, you know, I was very pleased with the reaction. People seem to really, he's landed very well. And I think, you know, the complexity that we've brought to it, the fact that it, people slightly don't know where they are with him, whether they, they like him and they don't like the fact that they like him. You know, they love to hate him and they, all those things I, I think is, is interesting. And that's to be played out further, but I think the fan loyalty of the show and the, 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 you know, the, the mail and the tweets and everything that I've been getting is so great that, that you know, people really love the show and care about the characters. I think why the show works is it's a character-based show. You know, obviously it has this zombie apocalypse around it, but it's about the characters and their journey and we care about them. Mm. And I wanted the governor to be someone you cared about as well in many you know, you can you care about him and you can see that there's a good guy in the mid in there somewhere and it's just the circumstances that have created this monster and it's about which one you're hoping will come to the fore. Mm.